Hello, my beauties. It is so good to be back here with you again. I'm here today bringing you my lit class, which is a beautiful combination of some quieting of the mind, yoga, strength and toning, and high intensity cardio. So we're gonna do a little bit of everything, and guess what? We're gonna do it all in under 30 minutes because my goal for you is to be able to sneak this in at any point during your day. So for class today, you're going to need a set of weights. They don't need to be heavy, light weights. Uh, typically we use one or two pound weights. I couldn't find mine today, so we're using five pound weights. We'll see how that goes. Uh, so yeah, you can use light weights. And if you don't have weights at home, you can always take two water bottles, fill them up with some rocks to make them a little bit heavy. Just make sure that they're balanced. So we're building balance on both sides. All right, so for today, let's get started. You're gonna find that happy seat, your Sukhasana, sitting cross-legged or however feels good for you. Bring your hands to your heart center and let's just take a moment here to quiet the mind, to shift the focus inward. Come to your breath, breathing in through your nose, breathing out through your nose, It's a beautiful, calming breathing. With our hands at our heart center, bringing together the right and the left sides of our brain, the sun and the moon, our light and our dark, our happiness and our sadness. They all come together here to bring balance. So at this point, I invite you to set your intention for your practice. So we're gonna bow the chin down towards the chest and just take this moment here to connect with yourself, with your heart's deepest desires. Maybe it's for the day or maybe it's just simply for this next 30 minutes on your mat. Setting that intention, sealing it into your heart space. Allowing the breath to flow in like an ocean wave, bringing in calm. Exhaling out slow and controlled. Releasing any negative thoughts. Just being here, being present, and promising that you'll give me your very best self. So from here, we're gonna go ahead and inhale and send that intention up towards the heavens to be received. Deep inhale, exhale, bring those arms down. Go ahead and sweep your left hand fingertips up and over. Chin goes towards your left shoulder. You're pulling your navel in towards your spine. You're lengthening your left side body. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Coming back to center. Exhaling, sweeping that left arm down. Chin goes up towards the right shoulder as you reach and stretch those right hand fingertips up and over. And then bringing both hands back up towards center. Exhale, go ahead and bring your hands down and you're gonna roll forward onto your mats into your tabletop position. So you wanna make sure that your shoulders and your wrists are aligned, your knees and your hips are aligned, and your spine is lengthened. So we're gonna go ahead and come onto the balls of the feet, drop the belly, look forward. Exhale, rounding in, tuck your chin in towards your chest, nice cat cows. And then again, inhale, dropping the belly, arching. Exhale, we round in, come onto the tops of your feet. Shift your gaze towards your belly. Two more like this, inhale, and exhale, letting go. One more time, inhale, and exhale. Good, coming to a neutral spine. You're gonna go ahead and extend your right leg back behind you. 
Keep that belly tucked in, navel to the spine. Reach your left hand fingertips forward towards the front of your mat. Hold this here for three, for two, and for one. On the exhale, we're gonna pull the elbow and the knee to touch. We're gonna round in and then inhale, lengthen. We've got 12 of these. Inhaling, exhaling, squeeze. Inhaling, exhaling, squeeze. 10 more. Eight more. Seven. Six. Really use your breath. Five. Four. Three. Two. On one, we're gonna hold the extension. Reach the arm apart. Navel in towards the spine. And then exhale, go ahead and bring that right leg down. Now, switching sides. Extend the left leg back behind you. Reach the right hand fingertips forward like you're shaking someone's hand. Deep inhale. On the exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Really squeezing. Six. Five. Four, three, two, on one, we hold the extension. Exhale, bring both the leg and the hand down. Go ahead and take a child's pose here. For a moment, stretch your hips back to your heels. As you walk your fingertips forward towards the front edge of your mat, take a deep breath in here and a deep breath out. Coming back to that intention once more, maybe allowing your third eye point, which is right between your two eyebrows, to come down to your mat, and just gently massaging it right and left, right and left. It's a great way to relieve stress and tension. From here, let's inhale, rise back up into your tabletop position. I'm gonna have you press up into your high plank, energy reaching out of your heels. You're a long line of energy from the crown of your head down to the soles of your feet. You are on your tippy, tippy toes here. You're pressing the floor away from you. You are light, you are lifted. Deep breath in, deep breath out. We're gonna take that right knee into the right elbow, step it back. Left to left, step it back. Right to right, step it back. Eight more, six more, five, four, three, two, and one. Beautiful. From here, press it back and up to your first downward dog. Walk it out right and left, right and left. Shimmy your knees, shimmy your hips up towards the sky. Whatever feels good for you and then go ahead and find that stillness, breathing in, breathing out. You want the shoulders to be moving away from the ears, the hips are moving up high, the feet are active, the heels are actively pressing down towards the earth, even if they're not touching. Inhaling forward to your high plank here, holding it once more for three, for two, and one, here we go, let's ramp this up. Mountain climbers, you got this. Nice and light. Stay with it. Almost there. Two more eight counts. Last round. Nicely done, press your hips back and up. Now, come onto the balls of your feet, tippy tippy toes as you walk your feet forward to the top of your mat, grabbing opposite elbows, letting it all hang down. Okay. 
Release your hands down. We're gonna take Ardha Uttanasana. So you look forward, pull the navel in towards the spine. Lengthen the spine, flat back. Exhale, float it down. Again, hands come to the shins. Look forward, lengthen, exhale, float down. One more time. Exhale, float down. From here, take your hands, walk them up, your thighs, roll your shoulders down and back. Let your palms face the front of your mat. Take a breath in here and a breath out. Good, inhaling your arms up towards the sky, word Bhattasakna. Plug your shoulders down, tuck your tailbone under, weight is in your heels. Your gaze is lifted up, your heart is reaching up. Inhale, exhale, float down, forward fold. Hands to the shins, lengthen. Exhale, float it down, right foot steps back into your low lunge position. Your belly is pulled in tight, you're lengthened forward. Energy reaching out of that right heel. Breathing in, breathing out, left foot steps back, high plank. Breathing in, breathing out. You can take a knees chest chin here or you can take a chaturanga push up and sweep through into your upward facing dog or your cobra. Doing what feels right for your body in this moment. Hips up high to the sky, breathing in. Breathing out, inhaling your right leg up. Take that knee in towards your chest, round in. See if you can get your forehead to touch your knee and then stepping your foot through. In between your hands, you're gonna rise up. High lunge. Plugging the shoulders down, breathing in. Exhaling, bringing the hands down. Let's take a gentle twist here, planting the left hand, right hand to the right hip, stacking the shoulders and then reaching the right hand fingertips up towards the sky. Breathe in, breathe out. Bringing that right hand down, left foot steps forward to meet the right hand to the shins, lengthen. Exhale, we float down. Inhale to rise up. Plugging the shoulders down, exhale, we float. Hands to the shins, lengthen. Exhale, float, plant the hands, step back. High plank. Let's go, opposite knee, opposite elbow. Bam, bam. You got this. Almost there, halfway mark. Stay with it. Get that heart rate jumping. You got this. Two more counts. Ha, ha. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Ooh -wee. Exhale back and up. Downward facing dog. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Good, again, balls of your feet. Getting that beautiful stretch in the back of the legs. Walk to the top of your mat, hands to your shins. Exhale, flip down. Inhale to rise. Exhale, float. Hands to the shins, lengthen. Exhale, float. This time, left foot steps back. Low lunge position. Keep the navel pulled in. Keep looking forward. The right knee and the right ankle are aligned. From here, step your right foot back. Meet the left. Chaturanga push up, or knees, chest, chin, whatever serves you. Exhale, back and up, downward facing dog. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Inhale your left leg up to the sky. Go ahead and bring your knee into your chest. You can get your knee to tuck your nose in, tuck your forehead, and then step that foot through in between your hands, rise it up. High lunge, breathe in, breathe out. Exhale, swing the arms down, plant the right hand, dragonfly twist, reaching the left hand fingertips up towards the sky, breathing in. One more breath in, 
Exhale, sweep the left hand fingertips down, right foot steps forward, hands to the shins. Exhale, float it down, inhale, swim your arms up, rising up. Go ahead and grab a hold of your left wrist as you reach your fingertips up and over to the right. You wanna keep your belly pulled in, you wanna feel that length that you're creating in your left side body and the compression of your right side kidney. Back to center, switch. Other side, inhale. Get taller, reaching up and over to the left. Breathing into the space you're creating. Root your feet down, that right foot wants to lift. And back to center. Cactus your arms here, navel into the spine. Hips reach forward. Shift your gaze up and back. Open and shine your heart space. Arms reach up. Exhale, float down. Hands to your shins, you lengthen. Exhale, float it down, plant your hands. Step back to your high plank position. Good. From here, we're gonna take the left hand to the center of your mat. Roll to the outside edge of your left foot as you reach your right hand fingertips up towards the sky. You can always drop your top leg down to give you some added support. Good, bring your right hand fingertips down, switch to the other side. Feel that length, press the floor away from you. Keep that right shoulder plugged in. Nice, bringing that left arm down to meet the right. Chaturanga push up, upward facing dog. Exhale, back and up, downward facing dog. So you can walk your feet forward again, or if you're ready to take a little jump forward, you can. Hands to your shin, lengthen. Exhale, float it down. From here, you're gonna take your weights into both hands. Bring them up to your heart center, and you're going to rise up. So hands are at your heart center. You wanna have your elbows nice and lifted. You're gonna separate your feet just about a little bit wider than hip width distance apart. And we're gonna do a few squats here. So we sit the bottom back and then we lift up, tuck and squeeze. Here we go, we've got 12 like this. 10 more, really sitting your bottom back and tracking your knees back, right? Eight more. Make sure that your knees are not overshooting your toes. Five more, four, three, whew, two, and one. We're gonna hold, sit it back. Sit back a little bit deeper, keep that belly pulled in, keep the spine extended, weight is in the heels. For three, for two, for one, whew. Go ahead and release it down, walk your toes back together, hands to your shins, lengthen. Exhale, float it down. From here, back into your chair pose. Oh yeah. Pulling the navel in towards your spine. Palms come to your heart center, sit back deeper. Taking your left elbow to the outside of your right knee as you twist. Pulling that navel in, twist. Chin towards your right shoulder, twist. And release, float it forward. Hands to the shins like this. Exhale, float it down. Sit the bottom back, hands at the heart center, and now we twist the other way. Pull the navel in towards the spine. Align your knees. Chin towards your left shoulder. Press that top palm down to meet your bottom palm at heart center. And release. Hands to your shins, lengthen. Exhale, float down. Inhale to rise up. Palms to your heart center. Take a breath here. Breathe in, breathe out. Hopefully you're feeling your heart rate rising. So we're gonna step to the top edge of your mat. We're gonna do some skaters. So we hop to the left, hop to the right. Skate it out. Get that heart rate up.
few more here. You got this, one more round of eight. Seven, six, five, four. Feels so good. Two, and one. Ooh, nice, done, inhale. Arms rise up, exhale. Arms float down. All right, so from here, you're gonna pick up both your weights, bring them up to your heart center, and we're gonna rise up. Go ahead and step your leg out so that you are taking up the width of your mat. Toes turned out to the corners of your mat in a modified goddess. We're gonna sit the hips back, weight into your heels. Go ahead and bring your weights down so they're facing the front side of your body, and you're gonna rise them up. We've got 12 here. Weight is in those heels, 10 more. Reaching the arms up, right so they hit, right at your shoulder. Eight more. Oh yeah, feel that burn. Keep the core nice and strong, nice and tight. Six more. Five, see we're working multiple body parts all at the same time. Three, two, and one. All right, from here, rise up. Palms come up to your heart center, pivot towards the front edge of your mat. So your back left toe is gonna to be turned in towards the top left corner of your mat. Your front foot is nice and straight. Pull the navel in towards the spine as you extend and lengthen forward. You wanna have your back nice and lengthened. Bring your weights down so that they're bracing the front side of your body. Keep the navel pulled in and go ahead and take some wide arm rows here. Really squeezing the shoulder blades together behind your back. At the same time, getting that nice stretch in the legs. You can bend the front leg if you needed to. We've got four more. Three, two, and one. Nicely done, all right. Pops to your heart center. We're gonna take a little balance pose here. Pops come to your heart, flex and extend your left toes. Holding it here, this is half moon for three, for two, and one. Go ahead and bring that back leg down again. Pivot, face the length of your mat, and then pivot to the back of your mat. Back right toes turned into the top right corner of your mat, because that's what allows you to bring your hip forward. So that both hips are square to the back of your mat. Go ahead and extend. Keep the navel pulled in, so you're getting a nice core workout here, working those low back muscles. And now we're gonna go ahead and take some narrow rows here. Hug those elbows in next to your side body, really close. Navel pulled into the spine, we've got six more. Five, four, three, two, and one. Nicely done. So bring your hands to your heart center, step that weight into your left leg, flex your top right toes, weights are at your heart center, hold it here for three, hold it here for two, and one, go ahead and step that right leg down, pivot to face the wide edge of your mat, we're going to take one final squat pose, sit the booty back, keep the chest lifted, keep the navel pulled in, hold it here for three, hold it here for two, on one, go ahead and release your weights down. Release your weights. You can press into your knees a little bit. Opening up those hips, go ahead and drop your right shoulder down. Getting a nice stretch in the hip, as well as in the side body. And then coming back to center, let's do the other side. Nicely done. Coming back to center, inhaling your arms up, stepping your right foot to meet your left palms to your heart space. Take a breath in and a breath out. Nicely done. All right, so from here, we're gonna turn. We're gonna face the back edge of your mat. One final balancing pose. Go ahead and come onto the balls of your feet, extend your arms out in front of you, and bend your knees. Plug the shoulders back, keep the core tight. Keep hugging those knees in as you come down. Hover above your heels, spine straight, reach the fingertips forward, hold here for three, two, and one. Bring your palms to your heart center and gently come down 
to your mat. All right, so you want to bring your feet in a little bit. Make sure the feet aren't turned out. They make the space with your knees and your hips. All stay aligned. We're going to do a quick core exercise, even though we've been working the core the whole class because we've been doing all these multiple moves. You're gonna pull your navel in towards your spine, press the low back down. Lift your shoulders up and reach for your right heel and then reach for your left heel with extended arms. You can keep the chin away from the chest. If that doesn't feel good for you, you can also tuck the chin in. The main thing is that you keep your shoulders lifted. Stay with it. If you come out, pause the video, and then start again. Keep reaching, keep reaching, keep pulling that navel in, keep lifting the heart up. Almost there, 12 more. 10, eight, six, four, two, and one. Ah, nicely done. All right, make sure that your feet are nice and straight. Go ahead and take a little modified gentle bridge pose. Stretching your hips up. Mm, so good. Bringing your hips back down. Pull your knees in. Try not to let your low back lift. Just rock and roll side to side. Releasing any tension. You can roll out your ankles. All right, and now we're gonna roll like an egg. Three times, massage your spine. Rising up to face the back edge of your mat. Go ahead and lift your arms up. Exhale, extend Paschimottanasana forward fold. So you can bend your knees as much as you need to. Allow the crown of your head to reach down towards the tops of your feet. You can shimmy your hips back if that feels helpful for you. Inhale, exhale, extend, compressing the stomach over the thighs. Reaching the forehead down towards your toes, creating length in your spine. And then rising up, let's take that right leg and cross it over your left for a nice spine twist here. So go ahead and extend your right arm behind you. Plant it, make it nice and strong. Inhale, take a quick stand for your back. Take your left arm up, push that knee out of the way with your elbow for a nice twist. Chin goes over your right shoulder as you wring it out. Twist, twist. And now we come to the other side. Bending the left knee, bringing it up and over your right knee corner. Both bum cheeks are on the ground. Press the floor away from you with your left hand. Right arm lifts up. Push that knee out of the way. Use that elbow against the knee as leverage as you twist, ring. Inhale, create length. Exhale, twist, cleanse out the body. Ring it out, twist, twist. And release. Well done. You're going to come back to where we began in Sukhasana, your happy seat. Let's take a moment here, deep inhale, reaching those arms out and up, exhale, bringing the palms down to your heart center. Again, inhaling, all the strength, all the balance, all the joy that you cultivated in the past 30 minutes. One more time, inhale, filling yourself up, exhaling out anything that's left that doesn't serve you. Bow your chin to your chest, honor your hard work, your excellent effort and your strong, strong spirit. The light in me honors the light in each and every one of you. Namaste, my friends. 
Have a beautiful, beautiful day. Thank you for sharing your practice with me. It makes my heart very happy. I love to see your videos of you doing yoga with me, so please be sure to tag me at Tara Natalie on Instagram with a little picture whenever you use one of my videos. I love seeing you guys. I'll be back again soon for another fun video. Let me know if there's something special you want me to work on. Stay well.